Question 1. Vectors A and B have equal magnitudes of M. Vector C has a magnitude of M over 2. Provided that the dot product of vector A with C is M squared square 3 over 4, and the dot product of B and C is 0, find the angle between vector C and vector A minus B, provided that all three vectors A, B, and C are coplanar, that means they're in the same plane, and note that sine 30 is 1 over 2. So let's uh, remember the definition of the dot product. If I'm going to take a dot product of vector A with vector C, that means I'm looking at the magnitude of vector A multiplied with magnitude of vector C cosine of the angle between them, so theta AC. Now what is the magnitude of vector A? It is M. Magnitude of vector C is m divided by 2 and we have cosine theta a c and this is equal to m square square root 3 over 4 m square square root 3 divided by 4 so that means cosine of the angle between vector a and vector c should be because we will have the cancellation of m square here and this 2 will make this 4 2 uh, square root 3 over 2 so if you remember uh, that means if sine theta uh, sine 30 is 1 over 2 this implies that uh, because sine square 30 plus cosine square 30 is 1, you can see that cosine 30 is square root 3 over 2. So that information is basically utilized here. Theta AC is 30 degrees. Now likewise, if I look at the dot product with vector B, and vector c this means i'm multiplying the magnitudes with cosine of the angle between them cosine theta bc so this will give us m times m over 2 cosine theta bc and this is zero so that means cosine theta bc is zero or the angle between vector b and vector c is 90 degrees okay so uh, if i look at the uh, vector a vector b and vector c on this diagram you we can show it here so the angle between a and c we have found to be 30 degrees so that is this angle Vector A has magnitude M, vector C has magnitude M over 2. This angle is 30 degrees. The angle between vector B and C is 90 degrees. This is only possible if the angle between B and A is 60 degrees. Why? Because these three vectors are coplanar. They are in the same plane. So we can conclude that the angle between vectors A and B should be 90 degrees minus 30 degrees which is 60 degrees so that makes this uh, triangle uh, a b uh, and a minus b triangle is basically an equilateral triangle all the sides are the same m m m 60 60 60 and a minus b, notice that, is a vector that points from the tip of vector b to the tip of vector a. So this is our vector a minus b. All right. And I have redrawn it here. You can see uh, this is an equilateral triangle. And 
uh, we have vector a minus b having a magnitude m one side of this equilateral triangle okay so uh, what is the angle between vector a minus b and c so you can see that basically graphically here so this angle uh, between vector a minus b and vector c should be 30 degrees or if you write the dot product uh, a minus b dot product with c this is a dot c minus b dot c which is m square square root 3 over 4 so I know that the magnitude of a minus b is from this uh, geometry m. So this is basically a magnitude of a minus b multiplied with magnitude of c and cosine of the angle uh, between them. Let's call this angle phi. And uh, I can utilize this information that I have obtained from this uh, plot here that the magnitude of a minus b should be equal to m so if I continue here m square square root 3 divided by 4 should be equal to m times m over 2 cosine phi which tells me that cosine phi is once again square root 3 over 2 or phi is 30 degrees so there are two ways i can see this uh, basically just by looking at the angles uh, uh, on this geometry i can see that this angle between vector a minus b and vector c should be 30 degrees or if i look at the dot product a minus b dot c this also tells me that cosine phi is square root 3 over 2 so the angle between them should be 30 degrees